Hi there, and welcome to The Dow Show for Wednesday, January 30th, 2019. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous. And, and we, we are, are Dragging, Dragging Our Heels. Heels. We've got another really full episode for you today, so let's get right into it. It was a good week, and a bit, actually, because we saw our intrepid videographer, Aberdeen, uh, who had been out on uh, the 19th of uh, January at Hail Mary and got the footage to us. So uh, we have that footage is now up on, on the channel, including footage from JBR, uh, Eden Out, and Shayla's on La Rue. So look for that. That was just the beginning of the 60 numbers we uploaded this past weekend. Yes. Well, I say we, but... <laughs> he means me. <laughs> I didn't upload any of that shit. I was I didn't do any of it. So thank you to Bambi Dextras. Anyone that has any thank yous this week, send them that way because this bitch did very little. Anyway, that's my <laughs> nice that's my nice way of saying thank you for working so hard. <laughs> thank you. Uh, but don't thank me just yet because a couple numbers got blocked and I couldn't fix them. So not everything got uploaded this week, but. Uh, speaking of not uploaded this week, is we actually were not out at the Gay Feminist Agenda on Friday because we had not been asked. Um, but uh, we didn't volunteer because honestly we just kind of took a night off. So we apologize for anybody that was in the show if they had been semi-expecting us to kind of show up. But um, if you ever do want us, then you know let us know in advance and we can definitely try to be there. Um, we did have a really busy weekend though. On Saturday... Saturday was crazy. There were four events out and about around the city, and we managed to film at three of them because mm -hmm. one of them was sold out. <laughs> <laughs> so we were at three events on Saturday to, to film some incredible drag and burlesque numbers. Yeah. Starting with a little show called No Variety. Yes, you were in that one. I was. Uh, it was at On the Rocks on Saturday and uh, No Vagina hosted as usual, uh, mm -hmm. basically co-hosted with Kelsey Breeze this time. Um, some amazing burlesque performers. We had um, Scarlett Von Baum. Yes. And, we also uh, had Tommy Rocket. And we love Tommy. Uh, yeah, they were both incredible uh, performers and the crowd ate them up. That was great to oh, see. Oh yeah, totally. Uh, Pheromone Kills yeah, was out Pheromone. again. And, and pulled out Proud Mary, which is just one of my favorites that she does and like oh speaking of eating it up the crowd was just living that floor was littered with money um <laughs> uh so yeah congratulations to her on both of her numbers um who else did we have in the show we had kelsey breeze in the show yes. who brought out like 20 people like 20 80 something 80 girl something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know kelsey kelsey brought brought everybody out yeah it was lots fabulous. of people were there for her yeah it was great um so yeah thank you to kelsey for that and uh again uh partly due to that you were a big help in uh the reason that we were able to donate 310 dollars to the iscwr from our 50 50 that night so uh thank you to everyone that came out it was a fantastic show yeah. I also, we can't forget our king, Colin Bay, was in the show and uh, absolutely slayed it with his one and, yeah. a, one and a half numbers. I loved Colin's song choices that he picked. I was loving, living for it. Uh, Colin had um, a music mishap that happened with his number, so you, you'll see in the video, there's a clear stop and then a start again. Uh, but yeah, uh, it, was, it was a fun time and... Uh, the crowd, the place was packed, and everybody was enjoying. So I'm, I, I'm looking forward to Nova's next show. I've given her a couple of names that she might consider. <laughs> uh, that was just the beginning of the night, because across town, the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose was putting on their annual gender bending event, Turnabout, at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Yeah, and it's always a really great event. We're always super excited for that one. Um, we didn't make it out to that event. I got to see some of the end of it because I, I was actually at the at the bar for later on for my shift. Uh, oh, okay. it, it was it was hosted by Godiva's male alter ego Dan, who was very nice. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, and uh, yeah, no, it was a good show. Uh, a Gigi, well, Kajiji. <laughs> uh, There's a lot of yeah. queen names mixed up. It yeah. looks great. It looks great. And uh, yeah, Krista Bear looked really good and whatever. Yeah, I need I, a coffee. There you go. I need a coffee. Like, it's it's a tough job. Like, I was telling you someone, like, it is so difficult to keep track of all the names when you have queen names, king names, and burlesque names sometimes. Like, uh, let alone their real names. And like, somebody will say somebody like, oh, well, that's, that's, that's Emily. And it's like, 
who? Yeah. <laughs> and you, someone like me is managing all these playlists, and I'm like, okay, adding Anita to Chris's playlist, for example. Right? So much to do. <laughs> Point being, it's a fun event, and uh, every, it was it was just kind of a neat take yet again on everybody just taking a look at the other side of it. So yeah. uh, you can Point check. Point is, we love turnabout. Yeah, it's a fun <laughs> event. So uh, check out the videos. They are uh, well. By the time you see this, they'll be up. So I I hope you'll already be watching and liking. Also going on that night was Fruit Loops latest event, Winter Ball. Aberdeen was there to check out that show as well at the station on Jasper. Our intrepid videographer, Dean. Uh, so yeah, had a great time. Um, it was a uh, all two spirited event um, mm -hmm. and uh, raised some money for uh, some worthy charities. And uh, you should definitely check out the check videos. Check out those videos. Uh, LaDonna made an appearance. LaDonna hasn't performed mm -hmm. in the city Local for legend. almost six years or something. Uh, Longer than that, I well, think. Well, that's but. what they were saying, but I, I know LaDonna did one pop-up performance one night at Evolution One Lounge at, uh, during a Madonna show. I know she did. We've got her on the channel. I know we did. Anyway, uh, that's still retired, girl. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly um, retired, but she came back for this special fruit. Right? Work. Exactly. Um, hosted by uh, Isis Rain and, as usual, Fitzy. So uh, mm. it was a good time. this had a, had a fun number in there as well. Um, uh, Carmen Down also performed, yes. and she looked amazing. Like she was, I believe, styled and dressed by. She's been spending some time with Melinda Verga. I know that. So there's some strong <laughs> influence by Melinda. It was really nice to see. It's it's not a bad thing. <laughs> Being influenced by Melinda is not a bad thing. Lovely um, girl. Yes, and so congratulations to Carmen on on that gig as well. And uh, yeah. Sounds like everybody had a really yeah. good time. Yeah, I watched the videos. I think everyone had a fun time at the Fruit Loop event. And as I said, there was the fourth event at the uh, Adara Hair Salon. Was also doing a fundraiser for the ISCWR, but that one was sold out, so uh, we weren't there. So someone else tell us how those ones were. Sister uh, Mary, we're looking at you. Yeah, I'm sure it was a really fun <laughs> event. So uh, yeah, uh, hopefully everybody there had a good time. On Sunday at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Dragging Our Heels was at the Sunday Review, uh, Imani's Club Kids show. You were at that one. What did you think of it? Uh, I had a good time. I, of course, was uh, helping out in the DJ booth and backstage and stuff like that. So um, I got a bit of a skewed perspective and watched a lot of it from behind and on smaller screens and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I didn't get like the full immersion kind of thing. Um, but what I saw was a bunch of people having a really good time in the audience and mm -hmm. on stage. And uh, that's pretty much what totally. you want from a show. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I saw good numbers. I saw some really cool outfits. I saw... Um, Very avant-garde outfits, mm -hmm. somewhere, right? And, and, and something that I, I have to mention, because uh, there was actually quite a few people that were dressed up in the audience as well, which cool. uh, you don't see all that often. I mean, sometimes you see just queens come out, but they had specifically followed along to the theme. And I thought that was fabulous. And I wasn't alone. Uh, Rob also thought that was great and came up with the idea on the fly to do a contest. Um, and a bunch of the people in those amazing looks got up and did a little walkway to see that walk. And uh, the one that showed off their outfit the best uh, got cheered the most and, and ended up winning tickets to see Bible Girl. So uh, you never know what's going to happen at a Sunday review. That hadn't mm. been planned. That hadn't been at all. So yeah. uh, congratulations to Cruella de Kill, who actually was the winner, um, and to uh, everybody else who, who came out and looked so fabulous to the show. So as we said, the Sunday Review was hosted by Imani and was basically co-hosted by Andrew Ginny as well. She came out quite a bit to help out because Imani was serving look after look after look. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, there were some really amazing performers that uh, we don't get to see very often. We got to see Goblin Dix, who did an amazing number, Eden Out, uh, Sushi was out, which is always great to see, and then we got to see some fairly new and two debuts. Oh. Um, we got to see the return of Hera, who is a yes. drag daughter of Imani, so it makes sense that she would be there again. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we had two actual new debuts, and the first one is someone that will be performing in this year's Alberta's Next Drag Superstar, so we have more to look forward to, but that is Yalanka. And she was serving looks and so, like, oh, oh, fun! It was amazing. Um, there was there was there was a mild moment of of wearing a mask for the second number, so the lip sync was. <laughs> 
I'm sure amazing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like it was, it was, it was a tremendous look and and uh, on both of the numbers and was really serving it. So uh, congratulations to Yolanka, and I look forward to seeing you out some more. Um, someone else that performed brand new was uh, Cherry Satin, and uh, really had a great time on stage and was just living for the moment and. People were eating her up, so congratulations to her as well. You need to check out all those videos on Dragging Our Heels. Where else? Yeah, where else? <laughs> <laughs> I also would, of course, be remiss without mentioning Indigo's tip spot um, that she did in the Sunday Review. Uh, it was great and a perfect advertisement for her show uh, next week, Dreamland. Dreamland next week, Sunday. Of course, we got a lot of help filming this weekend. Uh, Aberdeen being out at quite a few of the shows mm -hmm. on this film, so he was really helpful with that. Uh, Mama Indecisive actually filmed the Turnabout show, and um, and we're very thankful for Mama for filming that show for us, for the ICWR. Absolutely. Uh, we actually only filmed the one event this weekend, and that was uh, that was the No Variety show, and I Hello. did a couple of numbers, or Bambi did the rest. So, uh, yeah, it was it was a good weekend and we had a lot of fun. So please check out most of those 60 numbers because you said a couple of them ended up getting blocked, I'm assuming due to copyright. So check out those 60 numbers on the channel. But first, let us tell you about next week. Yes. Coming up on Saturday, February 2nd is Darla Darwin's Polar Express Yourself. Uh, we're definitely going to be there. We're not sure if we're filming yet. We're waiting to hear back, which is all the more reason why you should go and be there. Absolutely. Uh, what it is, is it's a fundraiser to try to raise some money so that she can head to the Burlesque Festival uh, up in uh, like, uh, Alaska. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be absolutely amazing. She wants to go hang out with Sarah Palin and wave to the Russians and all kinds of good things. So. Please definitely come out and check out one of our favorites putting on a fantastic show this Saturday at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Polar Express yourself! And on Sunday at Evolution, it's the Sunday Review, and it's Indigo's Dreamland. So I'm not sure what we'll expect, but we'll see some very fun... It's not It's not really a theme. Uh, I talked to her about it. It's not really a theme. She just said she picked a bunch of her favorite people, and she just told them to go wild with their dreams of what they want to do. So uh, yeah, I think it's going to be nice. a, I think it's going to be a really kind of exciting show, and it's packed full of some fabulous performers, including some that we don't get to see very often, um, mm -hmm. including Grease Jones, uh, Vanta Black is going to be there. Uh, we get to see JBR on the stage. The return of Smoky Guyliner. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Smoky! Smoky! Uh, my sister Puddin's gonna be there. Yes, Puddin's gonna be back. She hasn't been on in a while. No! Uh, Sushi, uh, our intrepid videographer Dean, Gemini will be there. Yes. And Daisy May Swallows. So right. it's gonna be a fantastic show. And Daisy May Swallows was last performing at uh, my cherry event, my cherry popping event. There you go! Uh, she's a cherry popper. So uh, yeah, you definitely. So of course, glad to see her out again. Yes! We love to see the cherry poppers out. So, uh, yeah, it'll be a fun show. You should definitely check it out. There may be more events. Uh, that's all that's on my radar. So if there is something else that's coming up that you think we should know about, please let us know. Send us a message. Do something. <laughs> uh, I think it's about that time. Yes. Pick of the week. Uh, you go first. What was your pick of the week? I'm doing Goblin Trinity. Goblin Trinity? Trinity. I'm doing the Goblin Trinity. <laughs> yes, no, I, I, the look, the, 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 the cuts, the sounds, the music, the, it was just, it was so much fun. Um, yeah, no, I, I thought I thought it was just and just fun, fun costuming. For yeah, no, it night. looked it looked it looked perfect. Oh, the so. costuming was always so good. Yeah. Um, my pick of the week will be from the No Vagina show. Uh, Scarlett von Baum mm. with her dinosaur number. I just, she wa no one walks the dinosaur uh, quite like her. <laughs> so. Boom boom aga laga laga boom baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a fabulous number. So yeah, uh, Nova had specifically asked her to do it. So yes. uh, definitely check it out. Um, 
yeah, it's it's a it's a wonderful wonderful number. It was just a really fun night to be a part of. Um, as I said, you should definitely check out the next time that they've got another one. Yeah, and you can watch all those videos. Do it on Drag Your Heels, not just the ones that we mentioned for no, the week. No, absolutely. And and again, like like share, do those things. Yeah. Every time you do that, it gets more attention to the the your friends and and the people that you want to see promoted. So promote those videos. Yeah. It all you won't helps. believe you won't believe how much it gets us out there. Get you guys out there. Really, I think that's about it. So, uh, you know, like, share, do all those kinds of things. And uh, and as, I, as always, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.